Hello, this is Anita, crazy about Captivate. This is a demonstration on several advanced actions in Captivate. How to validate a user on a test, whereby if a user passes the test, they will be sent to a custom certificate with their name and date, etc. on the custom certificate. If the user fails, then the quiz settings will not allow their user to continue. The first thing I did was ask the user to agree to the terms and conditions of the test. The continue button will not show up until the user clicks the checkbox. Now we have a couple of questions. The correct answer here is enforcing laws and making rules. The correct answer on this one is epitome club. Go through the test a couple of times, the first time to pass, the second time to fail, and see the results. If the user fails, they'll be directed to this slide, which will not allow them to continue on to their certificate. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. If the user passes the test, they'll be directed to this slide. Since I created my own certificate, I need the user to fill in their name because the name will be generated on the certificate later. If they do not fill in their name, the continue button is disabled until they fill in their name. This slide simply is an instruction to the user about how to print their certificate. So here's the custom certificate. I created the logo and the border in Photoshop and then import it as an image. The text entry boxes from the previous slide generate the name and the agency. And then I use system variables for the number of questions correct in the quiz and the date. Step-by-step -step instructions are provided on my blog. You have completed this lesson. I hope it helped. Feel free to provide feedback, suggestions, comments, or constructive criticism on any one of the links on this slide.